are you vegan going to a cookout and have no idea what to bring? I got you covered, boo. Okay, so it's Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day is tomorrow, so I picked up some things at the grocery store. I wanted to show you what I'm making. My tips for going to a cookout as a vegan. Guys, you gotta bring food. You gotta bring something to eat. Not only for yourself, to eat something that you know for sure that you could eat, but second of all, because you want other people to know and understand how delicious vegan food can be. So you can bring any sort of side dish. I'm making roasted potato salad today. Uh, another great side would be like corn on the cob. You can grill that. You can make fun sauces to go on it. You can make like Mexican street corn. You can bring portobello mushrooms to grill. You can grill all the veggies. And a great thing to do also is to experiment and try the really good mock meats that are out there on the market that you can get at like health food stores like Whole Foods or something like that. So my favorites are the Field Roast Burgers. Those are really, really good. And the Beyond Meat Burgers, Impossible Burgers. They have, uh, I think, Beyond Sausages now that you can get. You can make carrot hot dogs if you are super health conscious vegan and not into all the like fake stuff. I actually have a recipe for a carrot hot dog that is really good, surprisingly. It actually really is good, I'm not kidding. There are tons of different options. You know, think barbecue foods, but just make them vegan. So easy swaps for mayo, vegan mayo. Veganaise is my diehard favorite vegan mayo. I like it better than normal mayonnaise. I'm not even just saying that because I'm vegan. I really, really do. It's from Follow Your Heart. And then dairy-free cheeses. My favorite is chow uh, from Field Roast. And I also really like Violife. You guys know that if you've been here for a while, I did a taste test on some BioLife cheeses with my friend Carly if you wanna check that out here. So there are tons of different options. You can bring like macaroni salad, you can bring macaroni and cheese. So many different options. My favorite uh, classic hot dogs to bring are the Light Life, I think it's called Light Life. Yeah, Light Life Smart Dogs. So good, tastes exactly like normal hot dogs. The only thing that's different is they don't have a casing on the outside so they don't like pop in your mouth when you take a bite. But other than that, they are so freaking good. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I'm making today. I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna make the roasted potato salad. I'm also gonna make uh, Hot For Foods mocha, I think they're called mocha dream bars. They're these ice cream bars uh, with three different layers. There's like a crust and then the creamy ice cream and then homemade chocolate on top. Oh my God, I made them last year for Memorial Day and they were such a hit, everyone loved them. So creamy, delicious, no one would ever know they're vegan. So I'm gonna make those two things. What else am I making? Oh, and I'm just bringing some chow classic slices with me because the people who are hosting the party tomorrow that I'm going to are so sweet. They are actually grilling portobello mushrooms for me. I was gonna get like a Beyond Burger or something to be like, hey guys, look, this is vegan, but I just don't wanna spend the money on it. So I'm just gonna eat the portobello mushroom burger and I think there's probably gonna be some like smart, light life smart dogs there. It also really helps if the cookout barbecue that you're going to are comprised of people who understand your lifestyle and really understand like what you eat, what you can't eat. I am so thankful that the group of people that I'm hanging out with tomorrow are totally like in the know of what's vegan, what's not vegan. They even are providing me with portobello mushrooms and some other things too, like different side dishes. So I am so, so thankful for that. But if you are unsure of what's gonna be at the cookout that you're going to, just bring your own food and preferably bring stuff to share so that other people can see how delicious vegan food can be. Okay, anyway, on to cooking. This is gonna be a very informal recipe video. A lot of my videos are super, you know, I have to set up the shot, I have to, you know, get all these different angles, all that BS, but I'm just gonna be super cash today. We're going casual today because we're about to move. We're still in San Diego, but we're gonna move like 10 minutes away from where we're at now, and life is a little chaotic. My kitchen is a mess. So this is just gonna be a real life situation. No BS, it's just gonna be real life. So let's get started. Okay, so for the roasted potato salad, you're just gonna need like these baby like fingerling potatoes. 
You can use whatever potatoes you want. These are just my favorite. They crisp up really well and they're just adorable. So I have like a ton of these bags. I don't know, maybe like five of these bags. You don't have to make this much. And then for the sauce, I don't have measurements for any of this stuff. I mean, it's potato salad, like don't take it that seriously. Um, it's not that big of a deal. You can just like, just use your, your taste buds. I trust your judgment. For the sauce, have this coconut yogurt. I really hope it's not sweet. If it is sweet, I'm gonna have to use vegan mayo, which is fine. I just like don't wanna do that because then it's just gonna taste like regular mayo-y potato salad and I want it to be lighter and a little tart. Fuck, it's sweet. It's so hard to find normal, unsweetened, plain, vegan yogurt. Like how hard is it? Come on, guys. So sad about that. Okay, anyway, fresh herbs. Super important, I got some chives from Trader Joe's. I'm also gonna use up some mint that I have in there. And then the only other ingredients are like some lemon juice, lemon zest, maybe some Dijon mustard, um, shallots. I hardly ever use shallots anymore, but I love using them because they remind me of my culinary school days. We put them in literally everything, so I'm excited to use them again. Uh, and then celery for that delicious crisp texture and also the flavor of celery in salads is just bomb. And then like I said, I got the field roast chow cheese, one of my faves. I forgot to mention my other favorite sliced vegan cheese for burgers and stuff like that is the follow your heart vegan cheeses, the smoked Gouda and the American, amazing, so good. Uh, yeah, I just want like salt and pepper. I'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. And then for the Mocha Dream Bars, I'll leave the link to Lauren from Hot For Food, her recipe on her blog. But I just make like a couple of tw tweaks to it. It calls for like espresso powder, which I can never really, I don't know. I just never have it, nor do I really want to go out and buy it. So instead of adding a quarter cup of water to like the filling mixture, I'm just gonna add in a quarter cup of coffee, decaf coffee. I just like got some from Starbucks. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling, start cooking, cause mama's got to go. I got somewhere to be tonight, so we need to hustle. We need to hustle. The first thing I need to do is to roast potatoes. That's gonna take the longest. I also have to do it in batches because my oven is just like a standard oven and my baking sheets are like standard size. So we're gonna do a couple rounds of roasting the potatoes. My oven is set at like 425, 430 and I'm gonna roast them for maybe like 25, 30 minutes until they're really delicious golden brown. I also, I, so I slice the potatoes pretty thin and then I'm gonna drizzle them with some avocado oil. I'm gonna start cutting these potatoes. You wanna make sure to put your cook your potatoes on parchment paper. That way they get nice and crispy. I know a lot of people use sill pats, sill plats, however the fuck you say it. They don't get your stuff crispy enough. You know what I mean? Like, have you guys ever used that use them? Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, they'd be nice to have because you save money on like parchment paper or foil, foil or whatever you use, but they're just, they don't work as well as parchment paper. Anything you make on parchment paper, paper gets crispy as fuck. Okay, so now I'm gonna drizzle these potatoes with some avocado oil and I'm gonna sprinkle on some thyme. Whoa, that was a lot. And some, a little bit of garlic powder teeny bit. Peppa Peppa and some salt. Any high carb, low fat people that say potatoes are just as good without oil are lying. They are lying through their teeth. Potatoes taste so much better even with just a little oil because they get extra crispy. A little oil won't kill you people. If you're not a heart patient and about to go into cardiac arrest, a little tablespoon of oil is not gonna kill you. Okay, so now you're just gonna spread these babies out as evenly as possible because we want them to get nice and crispy. So now we got this. I'm gonna cover another baking sheet with sliced potatoes and then we're gonna pop them in the oven. It's the next day and I roasted my potatoes yesterday. So now we're going to dress our potatoes for the potato salad. So I got my bowl, I'm gonna put the potatoes in here and then in a smaller bowl, I'm gonna make my dressing. Oh, I also have to cut up the celery and shallots. Oh, I need a bigger bowl. I think I'm gonna use my KitchenAid bowl. That's the biggest bowl I have. I love roasted potato salad because you get the brown bits on there. So much more flavorful. And pro tip, if you want anyone to think that you're good at cooking, just throw in some fresh herbs. 
Everyone will be like, oh my god, you're so fancy. And you'll be like, I know. Oh my god, I could not stop eating them. Oh, definitely not a low carb day for me. Okay, so for the dressing, unfortunately, I'm not using yogurt. I wanted to use yogurt, but of course it was sweet. So we're using veganaise, about like half a cup, three quarters of a cup. And then we can also add in, I cannot find my zester for the life of me, but ideally you would zest these lemons. I might end up peeling the rind, the, the zest like this, and then like dicing it really, really small. Life hack if you don't have a zester, but like get a zester. Cause you real the zest just brings out so much of that lemony flavor and it lightens it up. The lemon juice, um, I'll do a whole lemon some red wine vinegar. We have like half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. Whisk it all together. I'm gonna add in some white pepper, like a quarter teaspoon of that. Oh, a little bit of Dijon. Uh, maybe like half a tablespoon, tablespoon. And then salt, a couple of good healthy pinches. Okay, good. Very mayonnaise-y, but what are you gonna do? You can also make like a cashew cream too, like a homemade cashew cream. Possibilities are endless, but you know, I'm limited on time. I'm gonna cut up the lemon zest into tiny pieces. Toss that in there. You're gonna chop these up pretty finely because you want it to be lemon zest. Okay, so that's like half a tablespoon. I might use more, I'm just gonna play it by ear. I am gonna add more lemon juice though. So add like a lemon and a half. I'm also adding a little bit more black pepper. Sorry, not black pepper, white pepper. Yes, honey. So next up, I'm gonna cut up my herbs. So we've got fresh chives, my fave. Chives are so reminiscent of spring. Mm, I love them so much. So cut them up pretty finely. When you're cutting herbs, you definitely wanna make sure your knives, your knives, your knives are sharp because if you're cutting herbs with a dull knife, they'll be bruised and battered and just not cute. So we got about a quarter cup of chives here. Toss that in the dressing. Now I'm gonna cut up my fresh mint. This adds, this is like going bad, so I have to pick apart some of them. This adds such a delicious flavor. Don't skip this step, I'm telling you. This will make you seem fancy as fuck. Okay, I picked out all the good ones. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other like so, and then I'm gonna do, cut them in strips, and then cut them in little bits. Now we're going to cut up our celery. And you're just gonna dice it into small pieces. Cut them into strips, and then dice them like so and then toss them into the dressing. Now I'm gonna cut up the shallots to go in there, just in thin slices. Okay, toss those in. So now our sauce, our dressing is ready to go. And now I'm just gonna pour it over the potatoes. Mm, oh my God. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait. And it's so pretty too. Like normal potato salad looks so ugly and like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like cafeteria food. This is fucking elegant picnic food. You know what, I'm just gonna go in with my hands. We're doing it, we're doing it. Gotta get messy sometimes, guys. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect amount of dressing. Tastes amazing. Now all these flavors will marry together in the bowl and be perfect for the party. Guys, how freaking good does this look? And then when you serve it, put some more fresh herbs on top, a little bit of lemon zest, boom! I could eat this entire thing. High carb, high fat. I'll leave a rough written recipe down in the description box below. But honestly, it's not that difficult. You can play around with the flavors, the measurements, and just see what happens. That's the best part of cooking to me, is just experimenting. But um, I at least can give you like a rough estimate of the amounts that I used. And yesterday I also finished the Mocha Dream Bars from Hot For Food. I will leave the link to the blog post down below. 
that tells you the recipe and how to do them. Oh my god, so good. Such a crowd pleaser. And they're great because you can cut them into little pieces if you're going to like a bigger party. But I gotta go. Your girl's gotta get her bathing suit on. I gotta get my sunglasses, sunscreen, a towel. I gotta get my stuff together because we got a party to go to, a pool party. I'm so excited. I need a tan. My skin is dying over here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, all that BS. You know the drill. And uh, take care of yourself, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one.